he's he asks, um, do you have any advice on how to go from a one liner comedian to longer form bits while still keeping the quick hard punches? Yeah, right. Great question. So one, you know, if you take a look at Brian Kiley, uh, Brian Kiley is uh, Conan O'Brien's head monologue writer. Huh. He he is a he is a mechanical just like comedic mechanics, you know, down to the T. Right. He has found a way to sort of make the make the flow of the material sound like it's almost a complete story. So it rolls very nicely, even though they're individual jokes. Now, the key is, is I think you can take a story or concept. So I'll start like one and two liners uh, sometimes, and then it'll evolve into a story, a whole story about um, my relationships, my failed relationships. And then, a, but within the story, all of the lines, every sentence gives you an opportunity for a joke, right? Mm. So um, like when I first do a joke about uh, meeting my wife for the first time, I do a quick joke about that, that could be done. But then, like, if I say um, my wife, uh, it was my wife's birthday the other day. And for her birthday, I got her a gift certificate for his and her massage. And she said, Jerry, this is a we gift, not a me gift. So I returned it and got her a gift certificate for dinner for one. And then, you know, then I can just talk more about my wife you know my wife my wife and i uh, we've been married about 15 years and all of this now the steam is running along and they could be individual jokes weaved together with tags toppers and act outs and that's what makes it feel like it's now a story or a bit you'll notice that most of the best comics you know even sometimes the one and two liners um, they'll get up there and they'll do an act out and an act out just shows up as an organic piece of the joke so we don't think about it as an act out and they'll get into an act out. You watch them on a TV set, they'll get into that act out within the first 30 seconds. And that makes the audience feel like it's a whole story. So once they see that act out, once they imagine this in a scenario you just set up with the act out, you've got them compelled. They're seeing your sitcom that you're shooting and showing them right there in front of their face by acting it out because they have that suspension of disbelief, sort of like we have in theater. You know, we know the guy's not at a stream right now, but he's splashing his face with water that's not not there. But we mm -hmm. buy it because it's a it's a play and we suspend our disbelief. Same thing happens in stand up when you do an act out. All of a sudden, the audience is seeing the pictures that you're creating and they're in your story. So it could be one joke, but done with an act out. It just really helps that joke evolve into a bit. Yes. Yeah. And that yeah, that's great too to for people to understand. A lot of times these longer bits were actually smaller individual bits that evolved over time. And mm -hmm. kind of you found themes to tie them. So they seem like it's one long story, but it was a bunch of individual jokes th that just kind of organically formed into one yeah, story. Yeah, man, and it's an application of the structure, right? So if you say, okay, you say the joke and you go, okay, well, if this is true, what else is true? Mm-hmm. And then you could tap. And so if this happened, what would that look like? There's the act down. Ooh, right. Yeah. And so then you can say, um, you know, uh, what's my what is what are the you know, who, what, where, why, when and how? What's the contrasting perspective? What is that? Well, some people think this. I think this. And now you're evolving it even more. So you're just taking it and using your 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 ideas and your techniques definitely the maximum of the five w's is one of your best assets mm. who what where why when and how who who what who me who who else is involved who will else would this impact you know uh who would hate this who would really like this you know who would think this was stupid you know that girl right there oh that's stupid you know she's you know this so then what how would you respond if she insulted you or he insulted you you know now you have a benign retaliation possibility so that who, what, where, why, when, out, and how can really take that story and evolve it. Mm. Hot breath.